Hey, you wanna have a Nerf gun battle? Sure. I hid guns all around the house. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, Aaron here. Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for shooting a first person Nerf War video. I'm going to show you all the different ways that I have shot a Nerf first person video so far and I'm going to show you all my different camera setups and some tips and tricks that I would recommend. Any products that I use or recommend will be in the description at the bottom of this video. So the video you just saw is probably one of the cheapest and easiest ways that I could find to shoot a Nerf War video. We shot it in less than 45 minutes with no planning and I edited it together in less than an hour and a half. I actually shot it all on my iPhone. This is an iPhone 5C. And then I got this guy right here. Even if you could like somehow find a way to attach an iPad to yourself or any other smartphone. And we shot it at 1080p. So I would recommend getting the highest quality that you can or put your settings on your phone or iPod or whatever. So I got this guy right here off of Amazon. It is a GoPro head strap and it comes with a phone attachment. So the guy sticks on the front just like this and wraps around your phone. Now, phones don't have the widest field of view. So for this video, I bought a wide lens that you could attach to the front of it. Attach that guy right there. And we just sat it up on top of Mitch and Aiden's forehead and recorded the whole thing. So there you go, you got the GoPro strap with the phone attachment, we got the phone, and then a wide angle lens attachment. I don't know if I would recommend putting the wide angle lens. This one at least kept falling off, which was super annoying while we were shooting. And sometimes it would come off from the actual camera of the iPhone, which made it super annoying and then the shot was completely useless, so we'd have to do it again. However, it is still one of the cheapest options that I could find. All you gotta do is buy the GoPro phone attachment, put it on your head, and start shooting. Now to edit this video, I used iMovie on my Mac. It usually comes free with any Mac computer. In fact, you can actually get iMovie on your iPhone if you want, so you could edit and shoot everything on this. I don't know how easy that would be. Probably wouldn't recommend it, but you could try it if you don't have a computer. Usually though, I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I believe the subscription for it is about $20 a month. And if you don't have a Mac product, you could use a PC and usually there's Windows Movie Maker on there, which comes free. It would pretty much be the equivalent of using iMovie and I'm sure some of the things will be the same. So first I got all my files off my phone using DropShare to my Mac. Then I imported all my clips in iMovie, watched every single clip and took out the usable parts. I lined them all up in my timeline. Then I started deleting all the useless ones. Then I started trimming all my shots together so that they would match up in the timeline. 
Once I had the entire story laid out, I watched it again, trimmed it up a bit. Then I went to look for some royalty-free audio. There's two royalty-free websites I would recommend if you don't want to pay any money at all. That is the YouTube Audio Library or Audionautix. They're both great websites that I have used many times in many of my videos. So I went through the YouTube Audio Library, picked two songs. One I wanted with like an acoustic guitar that was kind of light. So I just went down the search menu and found acoustic guitar, picked one of the songs I liked, downloaded it. Then I wanted something a little bit more heavy, more rock felt. So I went to genre, rock, and found a song that I liked as well. After I had both songs downloaded, I imported them into iMovie and then put them in my timeline underneath my footage. Once I was happy with my soundtrack, I went back to all my footage, added a little bit of contrast, a little bit of saturation, and I found my footage was a little bit warm because I shot it inside. So with the color balance, I just made it a little bit more blue and it cooled down the shots and made it look a little bit better. Once I had that all together, I just went to export or share and saved it as a file and I was all done. So that is a basic outline of how we shot the video with just our iPhone and how I edited it with iMovie on my Mac. So here's a couple other ways to shoot a first person video. I've had this guy for a while. He's a knockoff GoPro. Just got him on Amazon for hundred bucks. If you don't want to spend that much money for a higher end camera, this is pretty good. It comes with all the attachments. A lot of them even come with an action cam headband so you can wear it on your head. The quality on these knockoff cameras aren't that great, but for hundred bucks, you can usually get all you need to shoot a video. Another thing I got recently, which I've been trying out, is these iView glasses. They actually shoot in 1080p quality. They're really easy to use. You just hold the button for like two or three seconds and it starts recording in 1080p quality. It's actually surprisingly pretty good. You can buy a cheaper version that does only 720p as well. I find this is pretty easy to use if you specifically only want it for first person views and you don't want to use your camera for other things as well. I would definitely recommend this. I find it a lot easier than wearing something on your head because sometimes you have to worry about whether it's too high or too low and sometimes the headband can fall while you're running. But when you wear this guy, it's always right on your face and it's always looking where you are. So I would definitely recommend these guys. And so far I've been pretty happy with the quality that it has. Next up is a GoPro. This one right here is the GoPro Hero 4 Black. This is what I have used mostly for most of my recent videos. I would recommend getting a GoPro if you would use it for other things than just shooting this. You can get a regular GoPro for about $200. The easiest way is probably to use it with the headband attachment so you put it right on your head. Something like this. I find this annoying because I find sometimes it falls off. Other times it's accidentally too low. Other times it's accidentally too high. I also find that for me at least, I'm a tall guy. Sometimes if I have my gun too low, it doesn't actually capture the first person view as I'm actually seeing it. So this may be the easiest way, but I don't actually use this myself. I attach my GoPro to a helmet. Most GoPros or other action cams, they come with a little attachment piece with just a sticky part on the back. You just peel this off and I just stuck it to the front of this helmet. So you can see, I got one on there right now. Then I put the attachment piece right on it and you can put your GoPro on. And there you go, you got your GoPro attached. And all you needed is just some sort of full face helmet that allows you to attach it right where your chin is. The reason I like this is because I find the chest mount is too low so when you're actually holding the gun it gets in front of the camera and I find the head mount is too high that you don't actually see the gun enough. So I find this is a perfect medium, at least for me. So those are a couple ways to shoot a first person Nerf War video. Those are a couple of the different camera setups that I have found and I have used. All of them work, some of them work better than others but they all have a different price range and you just kind of figure out what you like the best. There's tons of other ways to do it as well and I'm constantly trying to figure out the best way that works for me so I can do it in the highest quality as possible. A couple more tips for making first person videos. If you're gonna do them with the Nerf War style like I do, keep it fast paced, be positive and be creative while making it. And make sure you have fun as well. To keep it interesting, I would also switch guns as often as possible. Thanks for watching guys. All the links are in the description of this video. I hope this helped and I hope you learned something. And if you guys make first person Nerf War videos, have fun and be creative. Thanks and I'll see you guys next time.